Hey, welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm going to do some talking about chargers. Yeah, I reviewed that little charger, well, previewed that little M6 charger. Brilliant little thing. Look at that. That's the 150 watt charger. And this is a 50 watt charger. Just to give you an idea, see why I was so amazed by the difference. Look at the difference in size between 50, 150, 50. 150, 50, right? So more on this charger coming up soon. I've been having a good old play with it. Seems to work pretty well. Anyway, I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about this. I'm not going to review this charger. I want to talk about um, power and current because I had a few emails after the the review of that or the preview of that little 150 watt charger and people saying hey aren't you, I've got a I've got one of these XYZ chargers and it says it'll charge at 10 amps but it doesn't it only charges at 5 amps what's going on is it faulty what's the problem well I'm going to show you today the relationship between current and power and, and why what it says on the front isn't always what you get. Now this, as I say, it's, these are the AccuCell 6 chargers, brilliant little charger. I've got several of these. They get hammered every weekend. They just keep working. Actually, one has failed. It doesn't charge anything less than a 4-cell pack. But, I mean, for the money, they're pretty hard to beat. Um, 50 watts, it says on the front, and then it says 6 amps, right? So you might think, well, hey, I can charge a battery at up to 6 amps. Woohoo! And it'll deliver 60 watts. Um, but... No, it won't always charge a battery at up to 6 amps because there's a, there's a keyword missing here. This says 50 watt 60, 6 amp, it should say 50 watt or 6 amp, whichever is the lesser. So what that means is that in some cases when you want to charge a battery, say a 6 cell battery, you might put it on, it might be 22 volts, um, you can't charge that at 6 amps because it would exceed the 50 watt power rating of this charger. Now, to work out the watts, we multiply the current times the volts. So if we had 22 volts times 6 amps, well, you do the math, but it's a, it's a lot more than 50 watts. So if we try to charge a 6-cell battery on the 6-amp setting, it's not going to do it. In fact, let's go out and see what it actually charges at. And welcome to the charge table. Now, there's that charger. I've plugged it in. You can see the lights are going. Um, here is a 6S 5000 milliamp battery. Now, this is a, a China Hobby but I am so impressed with the China Hobby batteries at the moment. I've, they sent me some to review. I've been using them and they're standing up so damn well. And for a cheap battery, because they are pretty reasonably priced, I'd expect this kind of performance from top line batteries, but they are just seem to be such fantastic value. But a full review is coming, so don't take my word for it just yet. Right, so here we go, 6S. Let's plug this in. Um, I've got to use an XT60 converter, of course. Plug this into the balance port down there. Ooh. Right, so this is fresh out of the box. I haven't even tried this one before, so um, who knows. Uh, right, so let's go to, let's do the setup here. Let's go up to six amps. Four, five, six. That's the maximum it can charge it. Let's go to six S. Okay, so how many amps do you think this will charge at? Well, let's find out. Here we go, that's 23 volts at the moment. We're gonna get six amps, it'll start ramping up. 1.9, 2.1, oh, 2.1, 2.2, why? Only 2.2 amps, when I've set it to six amps, look, I'll just show you, see? It is set to charge at six amps, but it's only charging at, wait for it, it's only charging at 2.2 amps, I think it was, wasn't it? Once it has a look. 2.1 amps. Why is that? And in fact, what you'll find is as this voltage increases here, as the battery gets more charged, this current will drop off even further. Well, the reason is, as I said, watts are a combination of the current and the voltage. So if we were to take, say, 2.1 amps, multiply it by 23, we're getting up there around, let's just say, 2 times 24. That's 48 watts. That's very close to the 50 watt maximum for this charger. So what's happening here is this charger is current limiting. It's unable to provide more current because it's reached its wattage capabilities. It's maxed out the number of watts it can deliver. So just to prove that we can charge at six amps when we want to, let's unplug all this. Let's find another battery. Uh, perhaps a graphene because that would be able to take a very high charge rate. I've got a four cell graphene here. Let's plug this in. And so let's keep it at six. Let's change the cell count though down to four. Okay, so now we've got a lower voltage. It's still limited to 50 watts. It should charge it a lot more than the two amps it was charging before. Let's see what happens. Now we're down to 15 volts, you see. So this should be three and a half, four amps perhaps. Wait for it to decide it's going to charge. Just checking the cell health of the battery. And in a moment, here we go 2.4, 3.1, 3.2. 
3.2. So there we go. Now it can charge at 3.2 amps because the voltage is low. If we take 3 times 16, 48 watts. So again, we're hitting the ceiling, the 50 watt limit. Even though we set the charge current to 6 amps, it can't deliver 6 amps because it's limited by its power capability. So that's the thing we've got to watch. It is the amount of power or the amount of current. Now, there are, if we had a smaller battery, which I don't know if I've got one actually, have I got a 2S? Have I got a big 2S here? One moment, might have to do a jump cut. Unfortunately, I can't find a 2S, uh, but I do have a 3S. Let's see what happens if I change it to 3S, how much current we can stuff into that. Again, it should be higher than on the 4S because we now have a lower voltage down to 11.35. I'd expect we'd get 4 amps, 5 amps maybe out of this one. Go 1.3, 2.8, 4.2. There we go, 4.3 amps. It's still limited. If we took, say, um, what have we got? Say 12 times 4.2 is 48 watts again. We're getting 48 watts of power. It's hitting the limiter. Um, we could really only get 6 amps, the quoted 6 amps out of this charger if we were charging a 2 cell or a 1 cell battery. That's the only time you're going to get that sort of current out of it. Because otherwise, the wattage just limits your maximum output current, which is, yeah, okay. That's something to consider. So, so if you do have this, you know, six amp or ten amp or whatever charger, and it doesn't charge at the current it says it does, it's because it's reached the wattage limit, and that's one of the factors when you look at chargers. And just as a, a matter of interest, here is, as I was saying about the size of that little charger from from the uh, that I reviewed before. Th this is an older 150 watt. Charge. Look at the size of that thing. This is the Turnergy 150 watt. Look how huge that is. It's massive. And it is a, uh, what is it, 10 amps, is it? I can't, um, blah, blah, blah. 5 amps, 7 amps. No, it says it's a maximum of 7 amps. So the little, tiny little pocket charger has better performance than that great big Turnergy one. Shows you how technology has advanced. So there you go. You can work out how much current you should be getting to your battery by taking the power figure and dividing it by the voltage that your, vol your battery is at. And that's a way to determine, make sure your charger is delivering the quoted power. There you go. So, yeah, um, as I say, these are great little chargers, but they are only a 50 watt charger. So charging a six cell pack with one of these can take a long time. Um, yet that little charger I showed you, much, much quicker because it's 150 watt rated. There you go. Now, if you've got comments, questions, anything to say on this, because, you know, say, people emailed me saying, what's going on? You know, why isn't my charger working? Well, that's why you're not getting that amp figure there out of your charger when you're charging, especially higher cell count batteries. If you've got any other questions you'd like answered, anything, these, these little videos that are, that are sort of prompted by user emails, hey, great, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments section on this one, and I'll try and answer your questions, perhaps, with a video next time. In the meantime, thanks to my Patreon supporters, they keep the channel moving and they stop all those irritating mid-roll ads that you'd otherwise have to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.